Hello, in this video I'm going to go over E, particularly how we can derive it using differentiation and exponential functions. Now to begin, E is a fundamental constant in mathematics approximately equal to 2.71828182846 and so on and so on and so on. Like pi on the square root of 2, uh, it's an irrational number which means that its decimal expansion will go on forever and ever and ever. Now, to, um, the way we're going to derive it is using exponentials, uh, exponential uh, functions. So on my decimal graph here, I have the, uh, the graph of y equals a to the x and the derivative of a to the x. Um, a to the x is in red and the derivative is in green. Notice that as I increase a, the green um, derivative moves closer and closer to the exponential function, overtaking it somewhere just before 3. And uh, moving on top of it. Now if we roughly get them on top of each other. We see that A is about 2.7. Zooming in we can see that, that this is not perfect. And But what you would find is that if you were to adjust this. Just perfectly. With infinite precision. They would overlap precisely at E. When A equals E. So that's how uh, we can get E using um, exponential functions. This is just one way to derive E though. E is also equal to the limit as n tends to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the n. Or the infinite sum uh, from n equals 0 up to infinity of 1 over n factorial. Which is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 and so on. And E is many, many, many... Um, E is very, very important in many, many, many fields of maths, not just calculus. For example, it pops up uh, when looking at complex numbers, with one very famous example being Euler's identity, e to the i pi plus 1 equals 0, relating five of the most fundamental constants in mathematics, e, i, pi, 1, and 0. So, I hope you found this video interesting and perhaps useful. Uh, thank you, Arjun, for the Kit Kat, and thanks for watching.